all welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is anaya and in today's video we're going to be crocheting a jumbo granny square ruffle hat and i hope y'all like this video we're going to be making granny squares most of y'all probably seen these before and so this is what we're going to be making i already made four and i'm going to make one with y'all and then we're going to carry on from there okay so what you guys will need is yarn of course i'm going to be using two colors you can use up to five colors you know do whatever pattern scheme color scheme you want to do you'll need something to cut your um yarn with a crochet hook oh a crochet hook i'm using a five millimeter hook that i made and then you'll need a sewing needle so let's get started okay so for the granny square for the hat it needs to be five rounds so that's one two three four five so you want your granny square to be five separate you know rounds because you don't want to do too many and you don't want to do too little because your hat will come out too small and i found that using a five millimeter is the perfect size and it gives the perfect you know get the perfect shape basically so this is where we're going to start off with i'm gonna leave this right here so y'all can see as we go okay so we're going to start with a magic circle so wrap and boom you're gonna take your hook go under i'm really not about to explain the basics um if you want to watch the video feel free to so now you're gonna chain three and this does count as a double crochet okay now you're gonna do two double crochets one Two. Now chain two. Two. Now you're gonna do another cluster of three double crochets. Chain two. Right. Two. And as you go. Feel free to pull this little string. Now, another cluster of three. One, two, three. Chain two. Our last cluster. One, two, three now we're gonna chain two one two and pull our string okay and this is what it should look like don't worry we're gonna once we chain our two as you can see it kind of looked like um it's not three okay there we go we are going to put our, we're gonna slip stitch right here. I don't know if y'all can see, but slip stitch. Chain one, and then take your scissors and pull that through. And that is your, you gotta get it together. Pull it back in. And this is your center piece right here. So we're about to start this part. Are you gonna do a slip knot? And just a little tip to make y'all less intimidated if you never did a granny square before, you'll always be working in these spaces. As long as you're doing a granny square, you'll always be working in these spaces. Now, this is just how I do my granny squares. People do them different all the time. So if you don't do yours like this, Feel free to just skip the granny square part. You're gonna take, you're gonna take it and you're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And yes, that counts as a double crochet. 
Now you're gonna go ahead and put two double crochets into that stitch. One. Two. Now you're gonna do three double crochets. One. Two. Three. Now you're gonna chain two, one, two, and place another three double crochets. One, two, three. One. It's basically the same thing over and over. Oh, and I'm not doing it right now, but you can you can um work these ends into your crochet. I mean your uh, granny square, so you don't have to weave in all those ends when you're done. So I'm just gonna have to weave in the ends because I forgot. Chain two, chain two, And that's what it should look like. Now back to the first corner space we had, we only put one cluster of double crochets. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna put three double crochets. One, two, three. And then we're gonna chain two and insert it into this stitch right here. And we're done. Chain one, and take your scissors and cut. And that's that. And I'm gonna show y'all where we at on our other granny square. So that's round one, that's round two. So one, two, we're now on round three. Okay, so you're gonna do a slip knot the same way you did last time, and we're gonna work into a corner spot. I always start off working on a corner because that's how I learned, but I don't think it's mandatory. Chain three, and that does count as a double crochet, and then you're gonna place three double crochets. Well, two more double crochets because that first one does count as a double crochet. Now, you have these middle pieces now. So in these, you just place three couple double crochets, no chain. So one, two, three, then you're gonna go to the corner, one, two, three, chain two, one, Three. And it's basically the same thing over and over. Corner, the corners are the only ones where you chain two. Regular spaces, only three double crochets. We got a corner, so we have to chain two. In corner pieces, you'll be placing clusters of, uh, two clusters of double crochets. So.
and add the more times the more rows you add the more spaces you'll get on your granny square so just keep that in mind but it's all the same pattern And we're back at the beginning where we only put one cluster of three. So we're going to go ahead and add three double crochets. Chain two. Insert it right here into that first double crochet. And then we're going to chain one and cut. And that was our third round, which means we are one, two, three. We are right here. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's the same color. But if you are a beginner, I probably recommend using five different colors so you can see the differences. Okay, so y'all should know by now, slip night, and then. This is our last row of pink. So chain three, then add two double crochets. I'm gonna add just three double crochets into this one. Three double crochets into this gap. And I'm going to meet y'all back when I get to right here. So I finished the um, four rounds. Now we're on our fifth round, which is the border color, this brownish, tannish color. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch. It's nothing different. It's the same thing as what we've been doing, but it's just our border. So... Chain three, then add two double crochets into that, that same stitch. Chain two. Chain two. 
Now I'm gonna meet y'all back when we get over here. So we are done with all five of our granny squares. You need five granny squares to do the hat. So once we're done with that, once you're done with that, you wanna piece the granny squares together to make the hat shape. It's not gonna fit in frame, but you're gonna wanna slip stitch all these pieces together. I have three going this way and three going that way. So I'm about to show y'all. Okay, just so y'all can see what I was talking about, you wanna have it like this and you're gonna slip stitch this together, this, this, and then you'll slip stitch the sides. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show y'all, but that's just what I mean. <laughs> This is just how I we, I slip stitch my granny squares when I'm doing hats. You don't have to do this way. I put the right sides together. And personally, I recommend using whatever border color you have. Whatever color is your border color, I will use that to slip stitch your squares together. So everything just blends in. So let me zoom in. So... You're gonna have it like this. And I used to make the mistake of putting that first stitch through these two. Don't do that. You wanna put your first, you wanna put your hook through the first two double crochets, with the first double crochets. Make sure you put it through both. And I'ma only show y'all how to weave one, how to um slip stitch one together, or two together. slip stitch you're just pushing it through both granny squares Okay, when you make it to the end, chain one, and then this is what it should look like. It should look like that. And then you might have to, you know, fix your granny squares, but for the most part, it should look like that. After you chain that one, we're gonna go ahead and cut. Pull it, and then I'm gonna add my extra one right here. It's easier to understand once you do the granny squares. So I'm gonna come back in a second. Okay, so after you match up all your pieces like a puzzle piece, a piece uh, like a puzzle piece, you should have this. It should look like, you know, a hat. Okay, so a border roll is what we're about to do next. I like to do a border roll so that whenever it's time to start doing the ruffles, it's easier to know where to put the ruffles. So I just take a I just did a slip stitch and I do put it through the gaps when I do these border rows. And we are going to do two half double crochet rows. So I just chain two and then I start doing half double crochet in every stitch. Let me zoom in. I just do half double crochet all around. This is like a good place to have a stitch marker. Let me get one. Okay, I added a stitch marker. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can use a bobby pin. You can use another colored piece of yarn. It's so many things you do. But we just place in one half double crochet in each stitch. 
And we're gonna do two rows of that. I'm gonna come back when I meet I'm gonna meet y'all back when we get to this side. Okay, so we have a couple more stitches to do right here. connect our half double crochets and slip stitch and this is what it should look like okay this is what it should look like you see how that just made it a little better than what it was now i don't i'm gonna add one more row if you don't want to add another row of half double crochet you want to go straight into the ruffle part that is totally fine but i'm going to add another row so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna comment. Okay, so it is time for our ruffles. Now, when I tell y'all, I've it took me a long time to get a ruffle routine that I love. This is the quickest way I do my ruffles and it is the neatest ruffles that I've ever did um, using this stitch. I'm gonna teach y'all how, how to do a treble stitch, AKA a triple crochet. So first you're gonna chain three just to get the ruffles going. We're gonna be putting our ruffles into this stitch. Ruffles are basically overcrowding of stitches. So I normally either overcrowd, well do three stitches, three um triple crochets, or I do four, or I do five. Three is gonna give you semi big ruffles. Four is gonna give you the close to like the the big big dramatic ruffles but you don't have to do as much work it's going to be like a balance between three and five five is going to give you jumbo jumbo ruffles so i'm going to be doing four so basically for a triple crochet all you want to do is wrap the yarn twice you're gonna have three you can have three on your hook and then you put it in Pull, and then you're gonna have four stitches on your hook. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. So that's two stitches, that's two stitches in our thing and our stitch, and we're gonna be doing four. So let me do it again. Wrap twice, insert it, pull through, pull through two pull through two, pull through two. You should always be pulling through three. So we're gonna do one more. Grab twice. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. I used to chain one and then go to the next stitch, but that doesn't really do nothing. So now we're gonna do that for every stitch. You're gonna put four in every stitch. And these ruffles don't look big because we're going to do another row on top of these of putting four in each one of these stitches. So the ruffles will get big and the more ruffles you do, it's going to start to ruffle up. But I do recommend putting a stitch marker where your ruffles are so that you don't have to worry about not remembering where you were or where you started. 
So I'm gonna keep doing that. And I'm gonna come back once I do this first row of ruffles. And then we'll go start our second row and we'll be done. Okay. So I almost forgot to come back on, but I finished my ruffles, my first row of ruffles. They kind of small, but we doing like not jumbo, but semi jumbo. So what you want to do is you want to keep doing what she was doing, overcrowding stitches, putting multiple um stitches in the same stitch. We're doing four in each one. So that's two. Wrap twice. And you do the same thing you did the first time. For every stitch very time consuming but the end result is so worth it so keep doing what you're doing you're doing good i already know y'all doing good so y'all keep going and we'll meet back up at the okay so i finished the hat and i ended up oh don't look at the back I ended up doing double crochet throughout some of the um, ruffles. So if y'all want to do that, y'all can. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be making more videos. Bye.